that's a better fish. What's going on everyone? So I came out here this morning and I have the goal that I wanna try and catch the biggest slam I've ever gotten in my life. My record right now is 61 inches. So I'm gonna start off the morning throwing some top water, see if I can get some big trout on that. And then I also have some pinfish and greenbacks in the live well right now to see if I can get some bigger redfish and stoke a little bit later. Right now with the higher water with the tide going out, I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, trout on top water. So I'm gonna start off the morning throwing this red and white top water right here, the spook. See if I can get some trout or maybe even a redfish on this oyster bar that's over here. It's a lot of bait, a lot of activity going on right here, so it's looking good. Oh, come on. Something popped it. Something's still following it. Still following it. Oh, oh, it came off. No. Let me scoot a little closer and I'm also gonna cut a or cut a pinfish and throw it in there and see if I can get a redfish on cut bait while I'm trying this. Alright, got a piece of cut pinfish right here. It's gonna cast it out by all this activity. Let's see if there's any redfish that wanna play. Just have my bail open right there. Just keep an eye on the line, see if it starts going out or it goes slack or anything. Oh, I got something on the live bait. He's running with it. Got him. A little red, probably. Doesn't seem too big. I'll run out of the boat. Yep, a little red. All right, if I'm going for my biggest slam, that's not not the best start, but it's also not the worst. At least we got one. Where right, dude? Got him. There we go. Little redfish right there. Measure him up and get another bait out there. 17 inch red. All right, 17 inches for the slam so far. Got another piece of cut pinfish right here. Hook them right by the tail back here, just like that. I just cast them right by this oyster bar and it really didn't take long for that redfish to pick it up. Oh, 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 live bait's going, or not live bait, cut bait's going. Got him, there's a better one. There's a better fish right here. Come on. He's going under the top water. Or did he? Yeah, he went under the top water. A little bit better fish. I haven't seen him yet. Feels better. All right, a little bit better. Probably like 18, 19 inches. They're liking the cut bait a lot more than the top water right now, I'll tell you that. Come here, dude. Oh yeah, you'll definitely help a little bit with the slam. Here we go. A little bit better redfish right there. Let's measure him up. He is 19 inches. All right, keep adding to the slam right here. See you, dude. Cut bait number three right here. Let's keep this going. Okay, right there. Drop that down. Really want to get a redfish on top water. Still haven't done that yet. Oh, cut bait's going. Oh, I had something. Yeah, something definitely had it. Let's get this cut bait back out there. I haven't gotten anything on the cut bait in a while, so I think I'm gonna change it out and put a, put a live bait on and try that before I move to the next spot. There we go. Good 
good size thread fin, green back, whatever you want to call them. Just gonna cast it to where I see some fish movement. The redfish like to hang out near near mullet, kind of like wherever you see mullet, there's probably redfish hanging around near them too. He got eight. Yeah, he gone. Huh. All right, let me get another bait. Uh, did not take long at all. Oh, I got something. Something good. Decent red, it looks like. Nice. Be bigger than, be bigger than 19. He, he's close. He might be the same size. Glad I tried the live bait. Come here, buddy. There we go. He's got like someone else's like line. Like someone made a stringer. Someone made like a homemade stringer and he broke off of it. That's what it looks like. You're a little fighter, dude. Let me get this hook out and then I'll get that out of you too. Yeah, because it's like wrapped perfectly around his gill like that. Yeah, it looks somewhat fresh. I'm not sure. Get that out of you, dude. There you go. Hopefully you feel a little better after that. Let's measure him up. Ah, uh, he's 18. All right, so 19 is still my big one. See you, dude. Let's get another live bait out there. That really did not take long at all. All I did was look where the mullet were and cast toward the mullet, and he must have just been hanging out with them and it wanted that green back as soon as I put it in front of his face. There we go. Ooh, decent trout it looks like. Yes, perfect. Come on in here. How you doing, dude? Not the biggest trout in the world, but I'll take a trout now. Yes. So all I need is a snook now for the slam. Come on, you slippery little devil. All right, let me measure him up. He is 15 inches. See you, little dude. There he goes. That's a better fish. What is this? It's gotta be a good red. Oh yeah, decent red. I'll take that. Come on, dude. Yeah, all I'm doing is literally casting over to where I see the mullet. And these fish are eating right now. Come on. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one of the day so far. Solid fish. He was barely hooked. Let's get a measurement on him. He's right at 20 inches. There we go, 20 inch fish. So after I caught those redfish, I went out and I tried really hard to get a snook. I was out there for three hours doing nothing but snook fishing, pitching baits under docks, just like what I was doing before, and didn't even get a single bite the rest of the day. Plus it started the rain at the very end, so I just kind of packed up all my camera gear and ran home quickly. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.